Today on our 2011 GMC Acadia, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Kurt 4-Pole T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness, part number C56056. First thing you're going to do is open up the rear hatch so you have access to the back of the vehicle. Then with this nice area on the back side here, we'll set out everything that comes in your kit. Alright, as you can see, the 4-Pole Connector part will be here in the center. The black and yellow wire with the plug and play setup will go to the left, to the driver's side, and the white and green with the plug and play setup will go to the passenger side with that ground wire as well. You also have your protective rubber cap that will go over to protect the connections here on the four pole once you have it on the back of your vehicle. That way it protects it from any kind of road grime, debris, or buildup, and even corrosion. Next you'll have your zip ties that will be included as well and your self-tapping screw that will allow you to place down the ground. Now with us here on the driver's side, you can see the caps and covers that are going to protect the bolts for the taillight assembly. We're going to remove these two caps to get access to the back of the vehicle. But for more room to pull through the wires and plug and play connectors, we're going to remove the two here on the paneling as well. Use a flat screwdriver to do so. They will have a safety cord on the back side of them too, so that you don't lose them. Now you can see you'll have access to the bolts on the back side. Alright, we've got our 7 millimeter socket here and our ratchet. We're going to undo these four screws. And the reason we're going to undo this bottom one here is just to give us that, that little bit of space where we can bend it out to get that plug and play set up through there. Now with those screws out of the way, let's go ahead and pull off our tail light assembly. Pull it straight back because of the two clips here. Now you can see that you'll have your wires exposed. Now we'll remove this tab here or pull it out of the way so we can gain access to this piece here. It helps to use a flathead screwdriver if you're having any trouble. With that disconnected, we'll set the tail light out of the way. All right, to get our yellow and brown wires with the plug and play setups up into place, we're going to need to pull that back a little bit and fish down either a wire and or we have a piece of old air hose here, but you can use whatever you need to to get it down to where we can pull that up from the bottom side of the bumper. There's going to be a nice little gap and you can see the ground from the bottom side here. So we're just going to fish that down through there to where it comes out the bottom, just like so. Now we'll grab our yellow and brown wire, placing it all on the ground, just like so, and then taping this off so we can pull it up top. We'll just use some electrical tape to do that with. Again, you can use a clothes hanger or any other item that you have to get it up through. We'll go ahead and pull those wires up. And if they get snagged a little bit, just pull back on that. And we have them up top now. So let's go ahead and take this electrical tape off. Now we'll go ahead and make the connection with the easy plug and play connectors. You can see that these two are going to be exactly the same. So this one's going to go back in your tail light assembly. This one will actually connect to the one that comes straight from the vehicle. Make sure that you press it in to where you get a nice firm sturdy connection. Just like so. Then plug this part into your tail light assembly. Now we have our tail light in hand and we're going to plug in the plug and play connector to where it clicks in place, placing those two tabs back into the holes and sliding our tail light assembly back into place. All right, if your tail light is not going back into place, make sure that you do not have the connectors in the way so it sits in there nice and flush. 
Go ahead and place in the screws to fasten and secure back down the body panel and the tail light assembly. Remember that they're going to be two different styles. The one with the bigger washer goes on the body panel side and the one with the smaller washer goes in the tail light assembly. Alright now with all of our screws back in place, let's replace the caps. Just simply press in until they click. Now that we got the driver's side tail light assembly put back in place, let's go ahead and remove the passenger side to get ready to run our wires. Now as you can see, we do have our wires hanging down from where we put it up on the driver's side. We're going to need to fish them up and tuck them away on the back side where they're going to be out of the way of the exhaust and the heat elements. All right, as you can see, that wire would be really close to the exhaust if we tucked it away here and brought it across. So if you look up here in the corner, in this location here, we'll be able to fish that same item, whatever we use, whether it was the hanger or an extra piece of wire or something through, to where it comes through on this side here. And we can grab all these wires, tape them off, and pull them through. That way they're gonna be away from the exhaust and the heat elements. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tape down all the wires so it's as smooth and easy to get through as possible. That way we don't have anything snagging or catching on the way through. Now let's go ahead and pull it through. All right, with those wires tucked away, and you can see that we're going to be away from the exhaust now. So now we can bring everything up and above our hitch and we'll have to repeat that same process on the other side once we start the passenger side of the vehicle. All right, looking up at the back of our hitch and however yours is mounted, whether you have the two bolts here on the front, we're going to kind of weave those wires up through one side, over the back side of the hitch, and then over the other side. That way we can stay as close to this back panel on the bumper as possible. That way we can tuck up all those wires and make it a nice clean look. And just as we did on the driver's side, locate that hole up here in the top and we're just going to fish that wire through just to make it easier to get it to the other side. And when we come down from the top, like we did on the other side, we'll be able to connect to that wire that's going to be hanging over here and pull it straight up and into the tail light assembly where we need it to plug and play. Go ahead and tape back off the end to this side after you pull through that wire. This is going to be the easiest way to do it and keep all your wires secure and up and out of the way of the exhaust and from hanging on the outside of the vehicle. Go ahead and pull it up and through. And if you need to, there's a little bit more room up here towards the center of the vehicle so you don't get it pinched. All right, to tuck our wires up a little bit further up and make it a little bit cleaner of a look on the back of our vehicle, we're gonna take and use a quarter inch loom clamp, part number A0250. Now we're over here on the passenger side. We're disconnect, we've already disconnected our tail light assembly and un unfastened the four screws that held everything in place, just like we did on the driver's side. We'll take our tube that we used before to go down to the bottom of the bumper and we'll fish that through. Then we'll go ahead and tape the wire, just like we did on the other side. so we can pull it up through. Now with the wires up through, we're gonna take off the tape so we can connect all the connectors. Go ahead and connect the wires just like we did on the driver's side. This piece here from the vehicle will go into the black connector until it clicks in place. Just like so. Then 
This part will connect back into the tail light assembly. But first, we need to connect our ground. And that'll just mount up right here on the back side using the provided hardware. Place the provided hardware through the ground. Find that location that you'd like to place it and then screw it in. It uses that self-tapping screw. Just like so. Make sure it's nice and tight on the back. Take your tail light connector, reconnect your passenger side tail light, and make sure that those connectors aren't in your way again. Now, place those tabs into the slots and press it all back in place. Now we'll be ready to place in the four connecting bolts, remembering that the smaller ones go on the top for the tail light assembly and the bigger washers down here for the panel. Now reconnect your caps until they click in place. Now we're going to test our wiring. So go ahead and connect the ground with the clip there to the ground side. Then the tail lights, left side blinker, right side blinker, and then brakes on both. And we're all set and ready to go. Now let's go ahead and place our little protective rubber cap over the top. Slide the cover over to where it's on the back side. Then we'll pull it up and over the chain tie downs and connect it up. Just like so. Now that completes our look and installation of the Kurt four pole T connector vehicle wiring harness part number C56056 on our 2011 GMC Acadia.